In the past days I received a lot of requests for tech tricks tutorial so today I want to show you a trick which is uh, a bit inspired by Amat Charisma. This will not be a really beginner friendly trick but uh, at the right speed every element containing this trick is achievable by an intermediate player. The trick looks like this. Before we start, please don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe. Today I'm using the Roppo by Shuriken in my signature colorway. Again, this trick is not super beginner friendly, but I will try to break it down uh, so that everyone can afford this. So, to start off, we are going to go into a Houdini mount, which is this. Instead of going into a Houdini mount on our non throw end index finger, we will go around our first two finger on our non throw end. To add a bit of flourish to this Houdini mount, you want to do this, which is basically throw a breakaway, go around your non throw end thumb, then go around your throw end index and thumb, like this. At this point, while the yo yo is traveling uh, towards your left, you want to take your arms close together. So that you do this sort of um, LA hop stuff. Arm close, then spread in and land into the mount around your two first finger on your non throw end. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is while you're doing the Udini mount, you want to grab the string with the last three fingers on your throw end. Like this. When you're here, you're going to release the string. Um, here on the last three finger on your uh, throw end and take all your throw end into the loop like this so you have the string coming around your throw end then you want to double on missing the string towards you on your non throw end and on the swing you want to uh, let the yo-yo fall into this big loop on your uh, throwing index and thumb like this and then you want to release the last thing the, the first string on um, on these two fingers on your non throw end like this At this point, you want to release your non throw end thumb so that you are into this configuration right here. On your throw end, it doesn't matter if you have um, just your uh, index finger or your whole non throw end in the loop, the trick will work the same. Like this, you have your sole index finger into the loop. And like this, you have your whole non throw end. But it's, it's basically the same. Now, from here, let's say you are into this configuration with your sole index finger. And to do that from when you have your whole, not throw end, whole throw end, just pull your throw end out and stick your index finger here next to your thumb. From here, you want to stick your non throw end thumb into the loop and undercut the yo-yo onto this string right here. From here, this is a bit tricky. You want to take your uh, non throw end thumb and place it in the same loop where you, where you have your uh, index and middle finger. And the bottom string on this loop has to be pulled out of the bottom loop like this. Let's see if I can show you a bit closer here. This stick into and pull it out with your fingernail of your thumb. So you are here, the thumb goes into this small loop, grab the string and pull it out. Now, with the yo-yo, in the next move you want to intercept this string that comes from your non throw end index finger. You want to intercept that very string by rolling the yo-yo clockwise around your throw end. 
like this. Stall the yo-yo there and then come back and hit the bottom string, which is this string coming from your non throw and middle finger, like this. From here, you want to make sure to stick your throw and thumb into the loop where you have your index finger just to spread it a bit more. Then you want to roll the yo-yo into this top string and roll it around your uh, throw end. And then you want to roll the yo-yo the, into the loop formed by your arms like this, do a full circle. You are in the same mount as before. Well, not, not really the same, but similar. Thumb, thumb. You're always landing on the bottom string on your mount. Now from here you want to stick your hand into the, into the loop um, that you have in your throw end. Then you want to roll the yo-yo into this string undercutting it. Now you want to unmount the yo-yo from the front by rolling it around your non throw end index finger like this. And then you want to unmount the yo-yo from the back of this bottom string. So from towards you into the string. In this way, you now are into a normal wrist mount. From here, you can go on and perform any trick on your wrist mount, or you can dismount it by rolling your throw end um, counterclockwise a bit and rolling the yo-yo into this middle string right here release all the finger on your throw end and you are in the position to perform yeah a flyaway bind uh, here you are in the position to perform a nice flyaway bind This was quick, but I hope that you found this video interesting and useful. As always, please don't forget to like, to comment and to subscribe. I'm Diego B. Thanks for having spent a bit of time with me today. So long.